Electronics are everywhere and our demand continues to increase with global consumption expected to double by 2050. By next year, this will amount to a staggering 35 billion Internet of Things devices installed and connected worldwide. This, of course, also means that the electronic waste we are generating will continue to increase with the volume of electronic waste growing at a rate of 6.5% every year. And unfortunately, only 20% is recycled efficiently. The European Union has proposed legislation aimed at increasing its share of the global chips market to 20% by 2030. This means that an important manufacturing capacity will be established in Europe to increase our sovereignty in certain value chains. A recent paper showed that information and computing technology could account for as much as 20% of global energy demand by 2030, with chips manufacturing responsible for the bulk of that footprint. Water consumption is also enormous in the chip manufacturing arena. The consumption in energy and water for this sector will grow enormously in Europe if we do not change the way we manufacture chips. The European Commission Circular Economy Action Plan identifies electronics as a key value chain and as such, we at the European Innovation Council, also known as EIC, are addressing sustainability in this field. The EIC supports researchers to develop novel solutions and startups to commercialize and scale the, these solutions, targeting the positive impact of semiconductors. My name is Isabel Ovieta and I am the EIC program manager for Responsible Electronics. In simple terms, as program manager, I design EIC challenge calls to support researchers and startups create and develop breakthrough solutions to make the electronics industry sustainable. Not everything related to semiconductors has a negative impact. Semiconductors enable a full range of digital solutions with a very positive impact on the environment. Smart manufacturing and smart mobility are just a few, a few ways in which novel sensors and ways of processing data are enabling reduction of the waste or minimizing the energy consumption in a radical way. Nonetheless, Promoting a more sustainable value chain for designing, producing, using and managing electronic devices is vital. Future technologies should follow a sustainable scaling path where the environmental impact must be quantified and minimized. Environmental targets should be incorporated into the design process and technical specifications for products throughout their life cycle. For this, we need to support radical innovation and this is where the EIC comes in. Many new materials, processes and devices are emerging and, and this is where our focus lies. The EAC will help these innovations reach the market and make a real world difference. One tangible solution the EAC looks to support is the creation of materials for the electronics industry based on renewable natural resources. One good example are cellulosic materials such as paper or nanocellulose. Other solutions lie in biodegradable or bio-based materials. At the level of devices, the idea of introducing multifunctionality is in one part with radically new approaches, seamless integration, combination of energy storage, memory, logic and the sensor in a miniaturized product, and working with really low power consumption are dreams that will come true soon. Several research projects with long development timelines and high investment needs supported by the DIC, are tackling radically new processes and systems based on low consumption solutions to enable direct electronic printing or developing by inspired solutions like the use of proteins as metallic tracks. The EIC supports many companies already dealing with printed electronic or novel illumination solutions to reduce energy consumption. Often startups that must overcome the business risk of creating new markets that are simply beyond people's imagination or convincing private investors that sustainability is important remains challenging. A new Pathfinder challenge has been designed in the EIC World Program 2023 with the goal to creating opportunities to the discovery of new environmentally friendly electronic materials thus reducing its environmental impact and the need for critical raw materials and hazardous chemicals. The projects supported under this challenge are expected to offer either materials with improved properties such as flexibility, durability, end-of-life recyclability or reusability, 
Materials processed with low energy consumption and low carbon footprint processing, such as printed instead of lithography processes, avoiding fluorinated gases for patterning, for example. Or alternatives to replace common electronic materials such as silicon or silicon nitride. Another challenge is now open for an integrated chip scale optical frequency comb, which opens many new opportunities to integrate different functionalities in a single photonic chip, with demonstrated potential for many system level applications, ranging from terabit uh, per second communication, lidars to neuromorphic computing. Further applications are emerging in Raman spectroscopy or biosensing for medical diagnostic, environmental sensing and food production, some of them implying huge increase in energy efficiency and network performance. If you have an, innovate, an innovative solution that can support the EIC's aim to achieve a responsible electronic sector, please check out the EIC World Program 2023 on the EIC website. With your breakthrough ideas and EIC support, we can change how chips are manufactured, how you consume electronics, optimizing only the very positive impact electronic devices have on our lives. Thank you very much for listening.